Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in the new Dirt 5. Currently the game is not well optimized. It's pretty crappy, honestly, the way it runs on my computer. I have a Ryzen 3900X uh, and my GPU is a 2700 uh, RTX card from Nvidia. So I'll show you still like how you can improve uh, some like parameter inside of the game and also how you can optimize your windows to so make sure that you have more FPS in Dirt 5. So first of all, write game mode and make sure that you uh, remove completely the game mode from your uh, from your windows. It's causing like stuttering and you will lose FPS with this. Also make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off, really important. And make sure that all those capture setting, background recording, recorded audio are at off. Also, I recommend to not use like any overlay, a Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, AMD overlay and stuff like that. And one more thing, make sure that you update your uh, driver if you have Nvidia, AMD or even Intel. Go on their website, make sure that you update it. Don't use the uh, update from Windows over there. You really need the software on their website and they have dedicated like a uh, driver for this game. Uh, one more thing that you can also change, you need the latest version of Windows 10, so Windows 10 version 2004. Write GPU in your search, click graphic setting, and you will, you will have a feature called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this is at on, and also you will need to restart your computer to uh, when you bind it at on. I have a dedicated video to explain like what it's doing. Uh, it will help you if you have like a low end computer, mid range computer. But if you have like a, a high end computer, you will not like gain more FPS with this. Uh, maybe like one FPS, but uh, it's more for people with low end computer or like a really old computer. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic fire reader, you need to go to video option and this is pretty much all the option that you have. First of all, final resolution, history resolution and also the render resolution. Make sure that you're using the resolution from your uh, uh, monitor. So don't use those automatic slash native stuff. You really need like to put your resolution that you're normally using. So if you're playing 1080p, go 1080p. If you're playing 720p, go 720p. The two biggest like uh, graphic parameter that will give you the most FPS is shadow quality. If you ca I compare ultra high to low, I'm getting a 10% boost in my FPS. And it's pretty much the same thing with global illumination quality, ultra high versus low, I'm getting another 8%. So this is pretty much where you will gain a lot of FPS. After that, geometry quality, tessellation, uh, if I compare ultra to medium, you're getting like 4%. Uh, medium to low, I didn't see a big difference, so that's why I'm putting medium over there. It's pretty much the same thing with tessellation quality. Uh, volumetric quality, again, not a big difference between low and medium, but I'm seeing like a nice 3-4% to between ultra and medium, so that's why I'm at medium. Cloud co quality, this one is a bit weird. Sometimes uh, I'm getting a lot of stuttering. Uh, like I'm playing at high, everything is fine and I'm getting stuttering and I turned this one at low and now everything is like really smooth. So that's why I'm putting at this one at low. I'm getting like a 4% boost, but it's more like my, my FPS are a lot stable with this. Procedural quality, sorry, uh, ultra to high, you will gain a 2% FPS boost and high to medium, another 2%. So it's pretty much like 4% when you play at medium. With those parameters, you should be fine. Again, it depends like what kind of computer that you're using. For sure, if you're using an integrated Boodle card, you will probably need to lower your volumetric quality at low and pressure the wall quality at low, and probably also your resolution at 720p. But uh, for now, this is pretty much it. You don't have any uh, or other option. I uh, don't have any special trick with the config file. Uh, I hope they're gonna release a, a patch soon uh, for optimization because it's not normal like uh, a computer like mine when I'm playing a, a, a game like this normally at ultra I should have definitely like 90 to 100 FPS like Forza Horizon 4 is running really smooth on my computer so I'm not sure what's going on with this game right now so this is pretty much uh, the best uh, the best option that you can use to have like decent image quality and also a nice uh, amount of FPS right now I'm playing the game at 90 to 100 FPS with those parameters so that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!